Alan Kelsey Grammer is an American actor, voice actor, comedian, producer, director, writer, singer and activist. Grammer is known for his two-decade portrayal of psychiatrist Drive, Frasier Crane on the NBC sitcoms Cheers and Frasier. He has won five Primetime Emmy Awards and three Golden Globe Awards, and has also worked as a television producer, director, writer, and as a voice artist on The Simpsons as sideshow Bob. Grammer has been married four times and has six children. Early Life Grammer was born February 21, 1955, in St. Thomas, U.S., Virgin Islands, the son of Sally and Frank Allen Grammer, Jr., a musician and owner of a coffee shop and a bar and grill called Greer's Place. He had one younger sister, Karen Eliza Grammer, who was less than two years younger than Kelsey. Grammer was two years old when his parents divorced. Grammer attended Pine Crest School, a private preparatory school in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and later spent two years at the Juilliard School. In 1968, Grammer met Fontainebleau Miami Beach Hotel Air Ben Novak, Jr., at the Pine Crest School, and they remained friends for 40 years until Novak was murdered by his wife, Narcy Novak. Career Stage after leaving Juilliard he had a three-year internship with the Old Globe Theatre in San Diego in the late 1970s before a stint in 1980 at the Guthrie Theatre in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He made his Broadway debut in 1981 as Lennox in Macbeth, taking a lead role when Philip Anglin withdrew after receiving negative reviews. Grammer then played Michael Cassio in a Broadway revival of Othello, with James Earl Jones and Christopher Plummer. In 1983 he performed on the demo of the Stephen Sondheim, James Lapine production Sunday in the Park with George, starring Mandy Patinkin. In 2000, Grammer again played Macbeth on Broadway, in a production that closed after only 10 days. On April 18, 2010, Grammer made his Broadway musical debut playing the role of Georges in a revival of the Jerry Herman, Harvey Fierstein musical La Cajo Follis, for which he was nominated for a Tony Award for Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical. Grammer originated the roles of Charles Froman and Captain Hook in the Broadway premiere of the musical Finding Neverland in March 2015. Continuing with the roles through June 28, 2015, television His television career began in the early 1980s when he portrayed Stephen Smith in the NBC miniseries Kennedy. Cheers and Frasier Grammer came to broader public attention as Dr. Frasier Crane in the NBC sitcom Cheers. Grammer's former Juilliard classmate and Broadway co-star Pattington suggested Grammer to the New York casting director, and he got what was supposed to be a six-episode job but ended up as a regular cast member. The character became the center of the spin-off Frasier, one of the most successful spin-offs in TV history. In addition to starring, he also directed more than 30 episodes, especially during the second half of the series and sang the closing theme, Toss Salads and Scrambled Eggs. Frasier was nominated for and won many awards during its 11-year run. In 2001 he negotiated a $700,000 per episode salary for Frasier. His 20-year run playing Drive, Frasier Crane ties a length set by James Arness in playing Marshall Matt Dillon on Gunsmoke from 1955 to 1975 but was surpassed by Richard Belzer in Playing Debt, John Munch on Homicide, Life on the Street and Law and Order, Special Victims Unit since 1993. Post Frasier in 2005, Grammer returned to television. He produced and appeared in an American adaptation of the British show The Sketch Show, which aired on Fox. The main cast consisted of Malcolm Barrett, Caitlin Olsen, Mary Lynn Raj Scoob and Paul F. Tompkins, as well as Lee Mack from the British version of the show. Grammar appeared in only short opening and closing segments in each episode. Many of the sketches from the British version were recreated, such as the California Dreamin', English Course, and Sign Language sketches.
Only six episodes of the show were made, and it was cancelled after only four of them had aired. In 2007, Grammar starred with Patricia Heaton in the American sitcom Back to You. It was cancelled by Fox after its first season. His next attempt, ABC's Hank, fared even worse. It was cancelled after only five episodes had aired. Grammer later commented, Honestly, it just wasn't very funny. In 2011 and 2012, Grammer starred in the Stars drama series Boss as a fictional mayor of Chicago in the mold of Richard J. Daly, which premiered in October 2011. It was his first dramatic TV series. At the 2012 Golden Globe Awards, Kelsey Grammer won the award for Best Actor in a Television Series Drama for his role on Boss. The show ran for 18 episodes over two seasons. Grammer played the villain in the Paramount's Transformers movie's fourth installment, Transformers, Age of Extinction, starring Mark Wahlberg. Grammer and comedian and actor Martin Lawrence paired up to star in the comedy partners for Lionsgate TV. The Lionsgate produced show will be written and executive produced by Robert L. Boyette and Robert Horn, known for writing hit shows like Family Matters, Living Single, Full House, Designing Women, and Perfect Strangers. Other appearances in addition to being producer, he guest starred as the Angel of Death on Medium, and Captain Morgan Bateson in the Star Trek. The Next Generation episode, Cause and Effect. Voice work Grammar's well-known voice and mid-Atlantic accent make him popular for voiceover work. He has provided the voice of Sideshow Bob on The Simpsons, winning an Emmy Award for his work in the episode The Italian Bob, his fifth Emmy win. He has appeared in 18 episodes from the show's inception in 1989 through 2015's Treehouse of Horror 26, in which his character has finally succeeded in killing Bart Simpson in one segment. Grammer supplied the voices for Stinky Pete the Prospector in 1999 Disney, Pixar film Toy Story 2, Vladimir in the Fox animated movie Anastasia, Rothbart in Barbie of Swan Lake, Zozzy the Bear in the subsequently produced sequel Bartok the Magnificent, and the title character in the short-lived animated series Gary the Rat. He provided the opening speech and piano in the Vandals song, Phone Machine, from the album Fear of a Punk Planet, and sang a rewritten version of The Grinch on an episode of Just Shoot Me. He was the voice of the mad scientist, Dr. Frank and Ollie, in the Mickey Mouse short Runaway Brain. He was also the narrator of Mickey Mouse, Once Upon a Christmas. Grammar's voice has been featured in many commercials. One of the earliest was a 1998 commercial for Honey Nut Cheerios, where he played the voice of the wolf in Little Red Riding Hood. Since 2006, Grammar has provided the voice for television commercials advertising Hyundai. In 2008, Grammar reprised his role of Dr. Frazier Crane in a commercial for Dr. Pepper. Production work His production company, Gramnet Productions, produces the CW sitcoms Girlfriends and the Game, the NBC drama Medium, and many other projects. Other work In 1996, he starred in the feature comedy Down Periscope. Also, in the 1990s, he did several commercials for Snapper Mowers. Additionally his film work includes the role of Dr. Hank McCoy in X-Men. The Last Stand, and he was the voice of Snowball in the live-action film adaptation of the George Orwell book Animal Farm. Grammar co-starred in the movie Swing Vote, playing the Republican incumbent. He played General George S. Patton in An American Carol. In 2010, he starred in the Kelsey Grammar Bill Zucker comedy hour. Personal life. Family Grammar has been married four times and has six children and one grandchild as of 2014. Update. His first marriage to dance instructor Doreen Alderman lasted from 1982 to 1990. Although they were separated for the last six years of that period, they have one daughter, Spencer Grammer, an actress on the CBS daytime soap opera As the World Turns, the ABC family show Greek, and the Adult Swim animated comedy Rick and Morty. 
Through Spencer, Grammer has one grandson, Spencer's son Emmett Emanuel Hesketh. After his divorce from Alderman, Grammer had a daughter, Candice Greer Grammer, with hair and makeup stylist Barry Buckner. Greer is currently a cast member on MTV's show Awkward. His second marriage, to former exotic dancer Leanne C.S. Uhani in September 1992, lasted one year. Grammer filed for an annulment when C.S. Uhani was three months pregnant and evicted her from their home. Grammer claimed that she was abusive and fired a gun at him. In 1994, he met 28-year-old Tammy Balishevsky, also known as Tammy Alexander, at a bar in Manhattan Beach, California. In December 1994, they appeared together on the cover of People magazine, announcing their engagement and Grammer's substance abuse problems. They broke up in 1995. In August 1997, Grammer married his third wife, former Playboy model Camille Donatici. They had met on a blind date in 1996. They have a daughter, Mason Olivia, and a son, Jude Gordon, both born to a surrogate mother. During their marriage, several of Grammer and Donatici's homes were featured in magazines, including ones in Malibu, California, Maui, Long Island, New York, Bachelor Gulch, Colorado, and Bel Air, Los Angeles. It was announced on July 1, 2010, that Donatici had filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Grammar and Donatici's divorce was finalized on February 10, 2011. On August 12, 2010, Grammar announced that he was going to be a father for the fifth time with girlfriend Kate Walsh, a British flight attendant 25 years his junior. However, in October, Grammar announced that Walsh had miscarried six weeks earlier. The couple announced their engagement in December 2010, and married at the Plaza Hotel in New York City on February 25, 2011, two weeks after the finalization of Grammar's third divorce. Grammar and Walsh have a daughter, Faith Evangelina Liza, and a son, Kelsey Gabriel Elias. Faith's expected twin, a boy, died in utero. Murder of Karen Grammer on July 1, 1975, his younger sister, 18-year-old Karen Grammer, was abducted, raped, and murdered by Freddie Glenn. Glenn was up for parole in June 2009. In a letter to the parole board upon Glenn's hearing, Grammer wrote, She was my best friend and the best person I knew. I love my sister, Karen. I miss her. I miss her in my bones. I was her big brother. I was supposed to protect her. I could not. I have never gotten over it. It very nearly destroyed me. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey he stated that he could forgive the man if he would at least take responsibility for the crime, as they all continue to say they had no involvement. In the same interview he expressed his loss of faith for a few years after Karen's passing. Grammer subsequently forgave Glenn. His daughter Spencer Karen Grammer was named in part for her aunt. Sex tape lawsuit In 1998, Grammer filed a lawsuit against Internet Entertainment Group, which Grammer claimed had stolen from his home a videotape of him having sex with a woman. IEG countersued Grammer, denying it was in possession of such a tape, and Grammer's suit was eventually dropped. IEG President Seth Warshavsky later said, We have been presented with another Kelsey Grammer tape, but we have no plans to air it. We are still evaluating it at this time, Grammer later reflected. Whether or not you're a celebrity, even if you're just an old slob with a video camera, you don't realize you shouldn't do it. So you throw the tape in the back of a dark closet until your old girlfriend remembers it's there because you're famous now and she's not. But if you're not prepared to do the time, don't do the crime. Substance abuse and legal issues Grammar has a history as a frequent abuser of alcohol. In 1988, Grammar was arrested for drunk driving and cocaine possession and sentenced to 30 days in jail. In August 1990, Grammar was arrested again for cocaine possession and was sentenced to three years probation, fined $500 and required to perform 300 hours of community service.
In January 1991, Grammer was given an additional two years probation for violating his original probation through additional cocaine use. The cast and producers of both Frasier and Cheers held interventions to attempt to help him. Grammer's personal problems affected his work. Co-star Bebe Newert and writer Ken Levine cited delays with rehearsals and filming due to his erratic behavior. Writer Dan O'Shannon recalled, however, that he would ooze into the studio, his life all out of sorts. Jimmy would say, action, and he would snap into Frasier and expound in this very erudite dialogue and be pitch perfect. And Jimmy would yell, cut, and he would ooze back into Kelsey, glazed over eyes, half asleep, going through whatever he was going through. It was the most amazing transformation I'd ever seen. In 1995, Grammer was sued by ex-girlfriend Sir Letta Lammer for defamation of character and invasion of privacy over content he included in his autobiography So Far. In September 1996, he crashed his Dodge Viper while intoxicated, and subsequently checked into the Betty Ford Center for 30 days. In August 2008, Bradley Blakeman, a former aide to George W. Bush, filed a copyright lawsuit in federal court on Long Island over Grammar's movie Swing Vote, claiming that parts of its plot and marketing had been stolen from him. The lawsuit claimed that Blakeman had given a copyrighted screenplay called Go November to Grammar in 2006 and that Grammer agreed to develop the project and star as a Republican president but instead ended up playing a similar role in Swing Vote, which was released on August 1, 2008. Grammer's spokesman dismissed the claims as frivolous and a waste of time. The lawsuit claims that Blakeman's copyrighted screenplay had the same basic plot as Swing Vote. Health problems on May 31, 2008, while paddleboarding with his then-wife Camille in Hawaii, Grammar experienced symptoms of a heart attack. After being hospitalized, it was confirmed that he had experienced a heart attack. He was released on June 4, 2008, and was said to be resting comfortably at his Hawaiian residence. Seven weeks after the attack, Grammer told Entertainment Tonight that, although at the time his spokesman described the attack as mild, it was in fact more severe, almost leading to his death, as his heart had stopped. Grammer thought Fox's decision to cancel his TV sitcom Back to You contributed to his health problems, stating that, It was a very stressful time for me, and a surprise that it was cancelled. But you know, everything that doesn't kill us, which it almost did, makes us stronger. On June 28, 2008, Grammer checked into an undisclosed Manhattan hospital after complaints of feeling faint. Other reports said Grammer was hospitalized for an irregular heartbeat. His publicist said that it may have been due to a reaction to medication. Politics Grammar is a member of the Republican Party and has expressed an interest in someday running for United States Congress. He is also interested in running for mayor of New York. Grammar was a guest at President George W. Bush's first inauguration. Grammer endorsed Rudy Giuliani in the 2008 presidential primary and later campaigned for John McCain in the general election. Grammer promotes Right Network, a conservative startup American television network. He endorsed Michelle Bachman for the Republican nomination for president in 2012. After Mitt Romney won the nomination, Grammer endorsed him. Awards Grammer won a number of Emmys, Screen Actors Guild Award, and Golden Globes for his work on Frasier. Grammer has received at least 45 nominations for major awards and has won on 18 occasions. He has received 14 individual Emmy Award nominations for four different television shows and has won five times. At the Golden Globes, he has received nine nominations and three times been victorious. He has received two People's Choice Awards, and in 1999 his directorial skills were recognized with a nomination for a Director's Guild of America Award for directing an episode of Frasier. He received a Saturn Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Eggs Men, The Last Stand. 
On May 22, 2001, he was presented with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for television. On April 20, 2009, Grammer was presented the inaugural Television Chairman's Award at the annual NAB Show in Las Vegas. In 2010, Grammer enjoyed his first Tony Award nomination for La Cajo Follis as Best Leading Actor in a Musical. The following table gives a selection of the awards he has won. Filmography